Hello, Beethoven Bears. Good morning. I hope you all are doing well and you had a great weekend. Today is April 12th, Monday, April 12th, and I hope you have on your bear wear. I have on my bear ears and my bear earrings, and I hope you're showing your school spirit. For this morning, we're gonna start off with being mindful. We have talked a lot about how to help ourselves be calm, focused, ready to learn, safe, and better. So which one of these did you enjoy doing the most or which one was most helpful for you? Maybe for some of my bears, it was having a cuddly near you. Maybe it was doing yoga. Maybe it was drawing or coloring. But I want you to just find one or two that you will continue to use whenever you're feeling frustrated and need to calm down. I hope that those strategies were helpful for you. Now we're gonna talk about our word of the year and it is still resilience. So we're probably gonna carry this word all the way through the end of the year until June. We have done really well being able to adapt, recover quickly, and being flexible. We also talked most recently about having a growth mindset versus having a fixed mindset. So we have done some great practices to show that we are willing to learn, we're willing to make mistakes, we're willing to have challenges and overcome them. So since we are moving on to a new schedule next week, the week of April 19th, I wanted to practice a new word that I know is going to be very helpful. So we're gonna practice it this week as we get prepared for our new schedule for next week. So our new digital citizenship word of the week is patience. We have to have a lot of patience right now. There's so many changes to what we're doing. And even for the bears that are coming back to school, we are doing things differently. So we're going to have to not only be resilient and flexible, but also we're going to have to be patient with the procedures, patient with our peers, patient with our teachers and staff, patient with our parents and our siblings, because it'll be a little different. It'll take a couple weeks for us to get used to the new routine. So I'm certain that through patience, we can make this happen. But being patient means that we're gonna to have to take a lot of turns and that is being polite. So we're going to have to really practice our four Bs and remember that we always wanna be respectful to our peers and the adults on campus. But you know what patience is like. Patience is when you're at the store and you're having to stand in line, when you want to play in the playground and you have to wait your turn for the swing or the slide, uh, washing your hands. Sometimes when you were at school, you had to wait turns to use the water fountain. And patience is like baking a batch of cookies and waiting for them to be done. You have to be patient until they're cooked and ready. And then when you take them out, they still need to cool off. So. We know how to practice patience. I believe in all of our Beethoven bears, our clever chemists who are going to be working from home. I know you'll have to have patience too with this new schedule. So Beethoven bears, our word of the week is patience. I wanna talk a little bit more about the new schedule, coming back to school and the safe steps that we're taking to reopen school next week. Remember those pieces of the puzzle? We have talked about a lot already. Cohort schedules, classroom, COVID tests, arriving to school, daily pass, healthy habits. So this morning we're going to talk about recess and supervision, meals and restrooms, and ways to greet each other. This is just a review, but I just wanna make sure all of our Beethoven bears are ready for Monday, April 19th, because on that day at nine o'clock, you'll have a 30 minute check-in with your teacher and your teacher will be giving you work for the remainder of the day. That's the only time you'll be with your teacher so that I can have all the staff together and we can talk about trying to make this transition as smooth as possible, as well as do some training. So we're gonna do our last bit of getting everything ready for you for our hybrid students to come back on Tuesday. 
On Tuesday, our PAL, our TK, our kinder and first grader start at eight o'clock. The hybrid students will be coming to school and our online students will be online with their teacher. On Wednesday, April 21st, we welcome our second and third grade hybrid students and our online students from second and, grade, second and third grade will start their new schedule. On Thursday, April 22nd, we have our fourth and fifth grader hybrid students coming and our online students starting. And by April 23rd, all of our hybrid students will be on campus and all of our online students will be with their new schedule. And once you start, so our TK, kindergarten, first grade, and PAL students, once you start on Tuesday, if you're hybrid or online, you continue for the rest of the week. So you don't stop there. You come back on, Tuesday, on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and so on. So the new schedule for each grade level starts on that day. As you know, we have our four cohorts of bears. Our biggest cohorts are our amazing astronomers and our clever chemists. And two very, very, very small cohorts of students are our brilliant biologists that are hybrid and our dynamic discoverers that are online. So our amazing astronomers, they are hybrid in the morning, eight to 11. Our brilliant biologists are hybrid in the afternoon. And again, that's a very small group. Our dynamic discoverers are online in the morning, a very small group, and many of our Beethoven bears are clever chemists. They'll be online in the afternoon. Here's a peek at the schedule. I know we went over this already, so I'm just doing a quick recap so that you can see where you are. And all of our Beethoven parents received or should have received their confirmation of your cohort. So you should know which one you are. I put it in their email. So take a look at your schedule. Take a look at when you are either on campus or when you're doing independent work or when you're online with your teacher or when you're doing independent work. All right, just a quick review. Now let's talk about recess. Are you wondering about recess? What is it going to be like? Okay, so we have a new schedule for recess. Well, there's a new time, 9.45 to 10.05 a.m. for most of our hybrid students that are on campus. Kindergarten has a little different schedule because we can't fit all of them in the kinder yard at the same time. Now, if you look on the map here, you should see your classroom number. You will have a set place to play. That is something different. We normally could play anywhere we wanted to on the yard, but we do need to have set areas to play in. Wherever your play area is, is also where you will have your snack. So we'll give you something to sit on and you can have your snack and there'll be plenty of trash cans around for you to put your trash in and of course, plenty of adults around. All of our assistants will be on campus with you during your recess time. Now for our afternoon group, there will be an afternoon recess. So there's a time missing, but our, um, our students that are here in the afternoon, they will also have recess. If you look at the green area, that's our field. And I know everybody wants to be on the field. So we're gonna rotate on the field every day. So every class will get an opportunity to be on the field and to play on the grassy area. Some of the things that you'll have to play with are, you'll have the skip jump rope, you'll have your own jump rope, you'll have your own chalk, we can play games like green light, red light, and of course, all of our hopscotches and four squares. We just wanna make sure we're playing games where we have our own equipment and that we are not touching each other. So some things that we cannot do are play with equipment together like bouncy balls. So we won't be able to play with soccer balls or bouncy balls or footballs because of the fact that we don't wanna share equipment and our apparatuses will be closed. But I think we'll have so much fun being around each other and we'll have all of our own individual equipments to play with. I think we'll be okay. Let's move on to talk about meals. Well, all of the meals at the school will be free. For our hybrid students, when you check in in the morning, there will be a snack available if you did not bring a snack yourself for that day. So as you check in, if you need a snack, there'll be snacks at your entrance gate for you to eat later at recess. 
Also for our hybrid students, at the end of your cohort, if it's 11 o'clock, it'll be around 11, or if it's three o'clock, it'll be at three o'clock, you will get um, three meals and a snack if you like. So you'll get breakfast, lunch, and a supper that you can take with you and you can eat that lunch either at home or you can eat the lunch in the um, supervision program. And the breakfast that you're gonna get is for the next morning. So the food that you're getting, some of it's for you to eat that afternoon, your lunch and supper and the breakfast, you can save that for the next morning so that you'll have a breakfast if you like. And then you'll also have a snack. So you're getting actually four things that you can take with you when you leave. For the online students, you will have all those same meals for our own grab and go. So we will have our own grab and go at nine o'clock to 10 o'clock a.m. near the auditorium where our entrance gate is for our first to third graders. So the cafeteria manager, Mr. Hernandez and Ms. Mervat will be there. If you would like to get a grab and go meal, you'll get three meals and a snack to take home with you. Supervision program. Some of the Beethoven bears that are here for hybrid will go to supervision. So supervision will either be from eight to 12 if you're in the afternoon and you want it, or it'll be from 11 to four after your morning hybrid. I know that there's um, several of our Beethoven bears that are already signing up and the parents are sending me their applications. So parents, please continue to send me those beyond the bill application so we can make sure we have enough staff to cover our students. So some of the things that you will do in Beyond the Bell, you will definitely get to eat your lunch. So that'll be the first thing you'll do. You'll you know, uh, sanitize, make sure your hands are clean. You'll be able to eat. Secondly, you will work on your asynchronous work. So there'll be some academic time. That's number one. Number two, there'll be physical engagement. So you'll be doing some playing outdoors, playing games, and again, with your own equipment, not sharing anything, and there'll be tons of fun activities to do. There'll be some creative time and some social engagement time. Parents, this program, as you know, is um, available for you and uh, make sure you turn in the application. There is no cost to this program and there's no waiting list right now for the program. We just wanna make sure that everyone that turns in their application, that we are able to cover you. So please do that as soon as possible. Restrooms, we talked about this a bit, most of our restrooms only have two available sinks and two available stalls. So when I talk about the word patience, I have to put it on this page too because we're gonna have to practice patience. But there'll be plenty of times that your classroom will have a set time to go to the restroom. Plus when you're outdoors and you're playing, you can use the restroom. And if there's an emergency, you can use the restroom. But you cannot go into the restroom until the two students come out. So there'll be a little bit of waiting outside the restroom to go in. And again, after two weeks, we'll have this down pat, but that's something that'll be just a little different. For the hybrid students, I wanna make sure that you bring your own water bottle because our water fountains are closed. So pre please bring your own water bottle with your name on it. If you forget, we'll have water for you. And also for the hybrid students, please bring your district Chromebook or you can bring your own personal computer or device every day. Now, let's talk about ways to greet each other. You know, when we see our friends, of course we wanna hug our friends and we want to hold our friends' hands and now we're, we can't do that. So we're gonna find other ways to greet each other. Even for myself, I would love to do side hugs, but now we can do thumbs up. We can do a toe tap. We can do an air hug. <laughs> we can do an air hug or we can hug ourselves to show that we're hugging you. We can bow. We can wave. That's the easiest, right? We can dab. <laughs> and we can curtsy. So these are things that we'll practice and we'll get used to them. But again, it'll be such a delight to be around each other. I think we'll barely notice that we can actually touch each other. <laughs> so we still need to prepare, right? Yes, yeah, so many of your parents are already scheduling you a COVID test. You have to have it at least seven days before you start. It takes about a couple days to get the results. 
So I know parents are out there scheduling COVID tests. We talked about maintaining social distance. So that's just a reminder we have to continue to do that. We're gonna wear our masks properly over our mouth and our nose while we're in the classroom, walking through the hallways. The only time you don't wear your mask is when you're eating. Washing our hands often. There will be sanitizing stations all over the school where you can put a little hand sanitizer on your hands and get them in between your fingers. And of course, when you're washing your hands, you want to sing the ABC song or sing the happy birthday song because you wanna wash your hands for how long? 20 seconds, 20 seconds. And you wanna get in between your fingers, you wanna get the backs of your hands, the insides are really good. And so we wanna make sure we wash our hands for 20 seconds and often. And we all have to get to, used to a new schedule. Our hybrid students and our online students we are starting at eight, not nine o'clock. We're gonna be with our teacher for three hours, not um, for longer than that. And some of us will be online with our teacher in the morning or here with our teacher in the morning, some in the afternoon. So again, a couple of weeks and we'll get it down pat. Now let's talk about our weekly announcements for April 12th through the 16th. Monday, April 12th, today, at nine o'clock, there's a paraprofessional meeting. So all of our assistants and many of our support staff are going to be joining me at nine o'clock. We are going to talk about returning to school. At 1.30, we'll have our teacher meeting. On Tuesday, April 13th at six, oops, that's a mistake. I apologize, that was from last week. So ignore that. There's no parent meeting this week. I forgot to remove that from last week. So Tuesday, there is no parent meeting. But on Wednesday, April 14th at 1.30 p.m., we're having our COVID task meeting. And at 2 to 3 o'clock, second grade, room 17 and 20 are having a materials pickup day. And again, parents, there is no meeting on Tuesday. That's a typo. Now for our special announcements. There are some special things happening this month. It's School Library Month. so. We want to thank Michelle for being a wonderful librarian and uh, being there for us and reading books to us and sharing her love of reading. So be sure to thank her when you see her this week. It is also National Poetry Month. Yes, there's a month dedicated to poetry. So read some poetry, some poetry this month. Find your favorite poet. I know Shel Silverstein is a great poet and I showed you the Giving Tree book but he makes a lot of wonderful poems for children. It is also Arab American Heritage Month. And so folks that live in America that are from Arab countries, this is a month to celebrate their heritage. And guess what? Did you know that Steve Jobs is Arab American? Steve Jobs is the founder of Apple Computers and Pixar. I'm sure you've seen a lot of Pixar movies where he created that company. He has passed away, but he is from Syria. So he was born in Syria and he moved here to the United States. So he is a pretty notable Arab American um, that we know from Apple and Pixar, Steve Jobs. So this month we're celebrating all of our Arab American families out there and honoring you for the month of April. Now it's time for our Red Apple honoree. Let's see who's getting the Red Apple this week. Our Red Apple honoree is Pedro. <laughs> Congratulations to Pedro. I just want to thank him because he helped the teachers this weekend. We opened the school so that we can get ready and we'll be there again next Saturday. And I wanna thank Pedro for helping to put some of our last minute uh, COVID preparations together. So congratulations to Pedro. And there he is with his bike. We know Pedro loves to bike. Now it's time for my favorite part of the morning. We didn't have it last week, but we have it this week, the students of the month. Congratulations to the students. Let's zoom in while I read what wonderful work they were doing last week. Mr. O'Donnell would like to recognize Stephen and Lucero for turning mistakes into teachable moments. Ms. Rodolphin would like to recognize Joseph and Grace for their willingness to correct their mistakes. Ms. Zulo would love to recognize Natasha and Titus for their consistent leadership abilities in small groups. Ms. Alanis would like to recognize Charlie and Stella 
Both students have been working hard on their coding and learning from their mistakes to do better. Great work. Ms. Ramos would like to recognize Melanie and Mason for their eagerness to learn. Mrs. Galvan would like to recognize Marisol, Gavin, and Isabella for their amazing work during small group instruction. Mrs. Harada is recognizing Rose. She is always ready to answer questions to show her learning. And Evan, who, who Evan Martinez, he questions different maps to decide which one is best for him. Ms. Evans would like to recognize Mihailo and Jaden for always going above and beyond on CGI math. They solve all the number choices and thoroughly explain how they got their answer. Ms. Gelman would like to recognize Alexis and Bianca for always persevering in their work and giving everything they do their best. Ms. Carancho wants to recognize Sydney and Max for their positive attitudes and enthusiasm every day on Zoom. They persevere through the obstacles of distance learning and always have a growth mindset. Mrs. Mills would like to recognize Zoe for her hard work on, on in multiplication and division, and to Victoria for her excellence in reading. Mrs. Ramirez is happy to recognize Giovanni for demonstrating growth mindset at school and teaching it at home to his family. He is always happy and willing to learn new things and understands that challenges are great for our brains. We are so proud of you, Gio. Congratulations to these Beethoven Bears. I am so proud of all of you, your hard work. I loved hearing about your growth mindset and that you were not afraid to make a mistake and that you're learning from your mistakes. So way to go, Beethoven Bears. Now for our happy birthday. So parents, thank you for your pledges. We are going to honor your Beethoven Bear this morning. Before we do that, I want to tell KDOC, I am so sorry. Last week on April 5th, it was KDOC's birthday and I said his name, but I put a picture of his brother, Jack. So I do apologize, KDOC. Let's zoom in so everyone sees your handsome face. It was KDOC's birthday last week on Monday, April the 5th. Happy birthday again to KDOC and apologies for that mistake. Let's look at the Beethoven Bears birthdays for this week. We wanna say happy birthday to Emma. Her birthday is on April 16th, this Friday. And happy birthday to Gwendolyn. Her birthday is April 17th on Saturday. And I have your new picture. So now we have Gwendolyn's beautiful picture. Happy birthday to Emma and Gwendolyn. We have one staff member that has a birthday, Mr. Lewin. Happy birthday, Mr. Lewin. His birthday is on Friday, April 16th as well. Now it's time to wrap up our morning. We're ready for our four B's. Let's get those R's ready. Be respectful. Be responsible. Be safe. And be a buddy, not a bully. Because what are we? Winners! What are we Beethoven Bears? We are, let me hear you. We are winners! What are we? We are winners! <laughs> Beethoven Bears, remember this week to practice patience. We are gonna need a lot of patience next week and even more patience the week of the 19th. I will say that my morning assemblies are going to be a little different starting April 19th. There's such a short time that you'll be spending with your teachers, either online or hybrid in person, that we won't have time for my long, long, long videos in the morning. So I will have a message that I will record, but it'll be very brief and you and your families can watch that sometime in the afternoon, but they won't be just like these. They'll be a really, really shortened version and it'll just be announcements. So 
We are ready for change. We can do this Beethoven Bears. I want you to enjoy the next week and the week of the 19th, we start a new schedule and we're gonna look forward to seeing our hybrid students in person and we're gonna look forward to working with our online students online. Have a wonderful week.